Hello everyone, I'm Adrienne Galvin. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, if you didn't know, I absolutely love healthy living and my thermomix. So the reason I absolutely, absolutely adore this machine is for so many different reasons, but it helps me with healthy living so much plus it also helps to save me time and um, yeah do the things that I love because I have the energy and everything like that so the first thing I just want to point out why I love my Thermomix is that I can actually plan out my week on this machine so I go into cookie do cook I do and I put in all my recipes for my dinners or my lunches or the dinners um, that I want to have as leftovers for lunches. Pop them all in for my week. So normally on a Sunday do that, plan it out and um, try and get some input from Eva and Roland as well. So um, that's exciting that they can be involved and we pop it all in and um, it spits out a recipe list for all of those. Uh, meals which is absolutely exciting and I go through the list and I untick all the ingredients I already have and I only need to get the stuff that I don't so then I can you know copy that list put it on my phone and go to the supermarket and go get the things that I uh, need and I know that I don't need to go back to the supermarket because I'm super organized and um, or I can jump online and order it online um, if I um, want to be lazy. Um, yeah, so I really love that about that. So that means that there's less wastage in our household because we are planning out our meals. Also saving time because I'm not going backwards and forwards to the supermarket. Um, yeah, and super easy. Uh, the other thing that I really love, going back to the healthy option, is that um, I can make things from scratch, which means that there's less preservatives in our food and uh, more nutrients in our food and, you know, just so much more tastier. So those are the key things why I love my Thermomix and um, how it helps me to have a healthier lifestyle. So let's get cracking and see what today's recipe is. Hello everyone, I hope you're having the most amazing day. Um, today's Friday here and we are going to do a fake away. So um, I've decided to do pizzas and I'm gonna do the cauliflower pizza base and we'll um, do our own little um, toppings on that. So I this is the first time I've made this recipe and um, yeah, I will just get started. So, I've just gone through and put the recipe on. It was already programmed for today. Um, but I've just gone and skipped through to the pizza base part. Um, you can make your own ricotta for this recipe. But I'm just going to do the... I'm just going to buy some... Have some bought ricotta and use that just to save some time this time around. Um, but at some stage I will attempt to um, try that ricotta. So we want 500 grams of cauliflower cut into small florets. So I haven't prepared myself. Um, yeah, I'm not an organized cook. I'm not a chef. Um, but that's what I love about the Thermomix too, is that, you know, I can be more adventurous with my cooking and just take it as I come. I don't need to be so overly prepared and apart from making sure I have all my ingredients um, because the Thermomix just does it all for me. So that's really, really cool. So that's Eva in the background. And she's going to be either joining us or she's going to be her normal good self. Hey, beautiful. Yeah. So we're just going to tear this down here, make sure it's at zero, and then it's going to weigh the cauliflower Mommy. for us. 
I really, really, really want to. Want Do you want to help me put do this, babe? I'm hungry. Okay. Well, would you want some raw cauliflower? There you go. Yum. Mum, it's not actually raw. Oh, it's not raw? Do you no. like it, do you? That's good. Do you want to say hi? No. Uh, no? Now, I haven't cut these florets very small, so I might have to um, whiz this a bit longer than what it tells me to, but we'll find out when we do it. Nearly there, and I love how precise the measurements are, so it means that I can't really waste food because it's going to be perfect. So that's 500 grams, and that's the only thing that I've got left. Um, so if Eva decides she's still hungry, she can have some more. Whoops. Right. Then I go next. Insert measuring cup into mixing bowl. Then. Um, and it's, it's all set up for me. Do you want to say hi first? Okay. Hi. Hi. This is my daughter Eva. Right. Do you know how to press the knob? We'll turn the knob. And I love that I can teach her how to do things. Right the way round, there you go, down to the <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I love that I can teach her how to do um, stuff. Yeah, she quite pizza. often. Can you make the pizza? Yeah, go get a chair, babe. Okay. She quite often helps me with this and I explain to her what we're doing if we're weighing and also the numbers which is um, good learning for them as well. So now it's telling me to transfer onto a lined baking tray. So I'm going to, oh no, that did, it. did a good job there. So I'm going to transfer okay. that onto a lined baking tray. You want to have a look at it too? Good. Cool, looks good. Yeah, if you're still hungry, there's more there, babe. I'm not hungry. Okay. Now, where's my... Can you grab the spatula? Got it. You got it? Yep. So, I'm just going to spread this out. And do you think you can reach that button that says next on the machine? Oh, wait, I think I'm just going to here. That's good. That's... Look, it says in the oven. Bake for 15... Oh, yeah, there you go, see? You can read it. Bake for 15 minutes in the oven, I can stirring do it. I every... I can do it, I can do it. Bake in the oven. For 15 minutes, stir it for every five minutes, everybody. To make sure short cauliflower doesn't burn. To make short cauliflower doesn't burn. Cool. Our oven. Our oven is ready. Is preset to 200 degrees Celsius. We've already preheated it, so we'll pop that in the oven. Can I first get you to move out of the way of the? I think I can be where I am. Just move the chair right away, babe. And then I'll still be where I am, eh? Cool. And then we'll pop the timer on for five minutes, and then stir it until 15 minutes is up. Mum, move out of the way. I'm right, here. We'll just. Pop you guys on pause while we do this little step. Right, hello everyone, we're back. So we have gone and baked our cauliflower for at 200 degrees Celsius during every five minutes to ensure cauliflower doesn't burn. Um, and we've set it aside to leave to cool slightly. Next, rinse and dry mixing bowl. I've already done that. 
reduce oven temperature to 180 degrees Celsius. Done that. Next, place 80 grams of parmesan cheese cut into three pieces at three centimeters. Now I'm going to use my own um, vegan cheese that I made earlier. If you want the recipe for this, um, just have a look up in the corner now and you can um, click the link to go see that recipe. But here it is here. So I'm going to pop 80 grams of that into the bowl. Make sure that the scales are tiered. And then we're going to pop our 80 grams in there. Just doing it really slowly. Um, so this has got nutritional yeast and all sorts in here. go 80 grams perfect and so now it's telling me to insert the measuring cup so what it's actually going to do so if I was using um, dairy parmesan um, it will be blitzing it up for us but I don't need to do that because it's already done so we're going to skip that step cool and now it's asking me to add cooled cauliflower so I'll do that now Cool. and then next add one egg grams of reserved ricotta now you can actually I don't know if I said this before you could make this yourself at the beginning of the recipe um, however I am just going to use store-bought today to save some time but if you really want to get you know less preservatives and really good um, quality foods making your own ricotta is going to be far better than store-bought But for the purpose of today, we'll just get the store bought. So 80 grams of ricotta. Make sure it's um, tiered first and on zero, which I checked and mine was. Right. So we've got 78. Oops. And 80. There you go. Perfect. Insert measuring cup into mixing bowl lid, then so pop that on, and we go next. It's already set up for me. All I need to do is turn the knob to where it tells me to. And it's done. And it says scrape down sides of mixing bowl with a spatula. So we'll just do that part. Ooh, looking good. Right, and then we go next. And insert the measuring cup in again. And then turn the dial again. Done. And next, spread cauliflower mixture into lined baking tray forming one large or two smaller pizza bases. 
so I will do that now so I'll just show you what I'm doing so with the machine you get the spatula so always use a spatula in the bowl to get your um, mixtures out of here um, it will make sure that your bowl lasts a long time cool and the very sharp blade so you don't want to be touching those perfect so I'm just going to make one big base and I will just spread that out with spatula can't wait to eat this it already smells delicious and I haven't even put the rest of the ingredients on just decadence I'm just pressing that out trying to get it not so um, thick in the middle Cooks more evenly. Just spreading it out. Oh my gosh, yum! I can't wait to eat it. Right, 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 right. Now, next, bake for 20 to 25 minutes at 180 degrees until lightly golden. I just thought I'd jump on quickly and show you why while that's um, cooking for 20, 20 minutes you can actually do a pre-wash um, in your Thermomix so there's a one litre there's a minimum and a maximum line inside here I've just filled it up to the maximum the water line um, it can be warm or cold water and just um, one or two pumps of um, dishwashing liquid and I'm just going to pop that on for a pre-wash and it will heat up the water to the perfect temperature and just make sure everything in there is really clean and then after that you can just give it a quick um, scrub and a, and a rinse and it's done so to do that if you just go to home and when once it comes up with the dial settings if you just swipe your screen to the left and press pre-clean it will do that while it's cooking and I'm just going to clean up the rest of the kitchen now as well so turn that oh yeah what did I do there hang on a second um, just did something pretty clean here we go and we're back so I'm just going to pull this out of the oven mm, smells good right now I'm going to lightly brush it with oil so I'll just grab a bowl some olive oil in here now I'm just going to try and make this pizza dairy free but sometimes you just have to go with it so this pizza will be amazing if you're on the 80 20 roll might actually so what I've done is instead of using this actual recipe is just using up what I've got in the um, pantry um, which is what I love about pizzas so what I'm doing is I'm using olive oil and garlic powder and I'm just going to mix it up whoops 
brushed it all over the pizza. This is going to be delicious. Need to invest in a bit of rush. Now you probably don't have to be as pedantic as what I'm doing, but I really love olive oil, and olive oil is just so good for um, good for you. You need good fats to help the brain function and everything. So. I'm okay with having lots of olive oil, so I'm going to chuck that on. Now, the recipe says for blue cheese. We didn't have blue cheese, but because um, I asked my husband to get ricotta, but he ended up getting this, which is not ricotta, so and no receipt, so I'm actually going to use it on the pizza to use that up. Hmm. Right, we're just going to put all our toppings on here apart from um, I've got some baby spinach there which I'll put at the end but you can put your own toppings whatever you want to put on this um, I'm just putting the cheese on then the salami and I've got spring onions whoops Yum. So yeah, I'm just using little bits and pieces of stuff that I've got left over. Um, so this is a really indulgent pizza, but it's going to be going to have some goodness in there too. So yum. Onions. Just use one spring onion and I'm gonna put some olives and yes my daughter will eat all of this which is awesome. Um I'll just wash my hands. Now I don't know if you know but a lot of food um I guess issues or I don't know if there's a better word for it food things that actually um, I find and most of it is because we're not actually exposed to or haven't tried it as a kid and um, or we've had a bad experience with food as a kid so for example you sit at the table and you have to sit there until all your food's gone and um, it's a quite um, negative experience um, as a kid um, eating food that's when I find um, a lot of people will have um, food things or hang ups whatever you want to call it um, for me when I was a kid um, I the doctors and stuff would say that, you know, I'm not eating enough, not putting on enough weight and blah, 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 blah. So um, my mum was quite stressed when she used to feed me. So I've never really enjoyed food. Um, and with my daughter Eva, I have taken a different approach to food. Um, the doctors, um, I don't know if you know, but she's got a rare heart condition. But um, the doctors with her, they actually would ring up and rush us to hospital and say, she's not putting on enough weight, she's, um, you know, not doing the right things and blah, blah, blah. So, um, and I was quite calm and collected about it because when I looked back on her, um, you know, weights and everything that she'd done that she gained, it was actually, she's doing exactly the same thing as what I was doing and I didn't have a... Um, 
heart condition. So she was actually doing what was right for her. So I never worried or stressed about it. And I knew she, she would yell and scream and she was hungry. So I was like, you know what? She's weeing, she's pooing, she's drinking, she's not dehydrated. Um, it's perfect temperature, oxygen sets are perfect. She's actually getting what she needs. Um, and now what, and I give her everything. Um, I don't not give her anything. And she, she eats so many different foods and um, she actually doesn't get sick either. So that's quite good as well because she's meant to be um, immune compromised with her heart condition. So yeah, I've learned a lot about food um, with obviously myself um, and my health issues and also with Eva. So food can either be your, um, you know, your best form of medicine or it can um, be yeah, hugely detrimental to your health. So that's some little tidbit of information that you may or may not want to know. Um, but it's there if you do. Um, so I've just put those bits in the oven and then I'm going to do it until the cheese melts probably and then I'll um, pop on the baby spinach and then we'll be good to go. I just want to say again, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you've had fun, learnt some new things, got some, you know, good I different ideas for food to make it interesting and fun in your household. And um, yeah, if you want to learn more about the Thermomix and the 20 different functions it has, um, I would highly recommend that you book a cooking experience. You can have either an in-home or a virtual one. So yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Bye.